Wisconsin Broadcasters Association Hall of Famer Bob Baird ruled Milwaukee's airwaves in the 60s and 70s. He spoke with countless musicians and celebrities over the years. Bob collected remarkable recordings of these encounters, which he's now sharing with the public. Here's Bob. My name, Osai Mana. I ain't the cheap astronaut. My name, Osai Mana. That was Bill Dana. Bill Dana was a comedian, actor, and screenwriter. He wrote many routines, including What You Believe for Don Adams on the popular Get Smart TV sitcom. Bill created the character Jose Jimenez on the Steve Allen Show for the Man on the Street segments. His many TV appearances included the bumbling elevator operator on the Danny Thomas Show. And his Jose character was included in several scenes of the 1983 movie The Right Stuff. His popular albums were My Name is Jose Jimenez and Jose Jimenez, the Astronaut. Hello. Hello, Bill. Hi, Bob. I'm in Tony Fantosi's office at the William Morris Agency, so he's going to take 10% of this interview. <laughs> I believe it. Writer, comedian, lyricist, cartoonist, recording artist, producer. What else? Uh, I think we Jay heard... Walker. Jay Walker. Bill Dana. Jose Menez is uh, on the air with us, and uh, he started out writing material for comic Don Adams. Which Dan, yeah, uh... Don, Don was the first guy I ever wrote for. When I met him, he was uh, an impressionist uh, working at the Ruban Blue, a nightclub, a chic east side what, as they used to call him in New York, and he used to do an impression of William Powell as the thin man. There's your man inspector, a liar, a cheat, a thief, and a homicidal maniac, but he's my son and I love him. And I took that character and built uh, a whole bunch of routines, got him on the Steve Allen show, and he was a hit with that, and Steve asked me, did I write that stuff? And I said, yeah, and then Steve hired me, and I was off and running. And later, the, the matter of fact, the shows, is. Uh, is, do you get CBN there, Bob? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Well, the, if you watch uh, the Bill Dana shows uh, with uh, me playing Jose as the bellman, you'll see Don Adams playing Byron Glick, the hotel detective. Did you? And uh, when my show uh, was uh, was canceled, all they did was to uh, to take uh, the character and put him into the James Bond business. So he went on uh, to become Maxwell Smart. Right, very popular and, show. And uh, I went on and did some other stuff. That's for sure. Uh, did you write all the material for the uh, for Jose Jimenez? Well, I wrote uh, a, a lot of it, but there were a lot of terrific uh, contributors to the uh, the character over the years. I mean, some really huge names. For example, uh, when I did the Gary Moore show, one of the staff writers who suggested that I do an astronaut was Neil Simon, hmm. uh, who's written a few things since then. Yeah, that. yeah, that's interesting. Uh, so there have been a lot of very fine uh, uh, writers that have written for Jose. Uh, Bill, how did uh, Jose Jimenez originate? On the Steve Allen show back in 1959, Don Hinckley and I used to write uh, a department called uh, Nutley Hinckley. Nutley Butley Winkley Report. The, the weekly Nutley Hinkley Butley Winkley Report. It was <laughs> a send up of the Huntley Brinkley Report, which was the big thing in the news in those days. Right. And it was in November 1959. Uh, the, the title of the report was Pre Christmas USA, you know, what's happening around the country. Just out of the air, I thought if we did a thing about a Santa Claus school and the instructor happened to be Latino, that when. Uh, when uh, he taught uh, Santa Claus to say ho, 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 if you wrote it out, it was spelled J-O-J-O-J-O. -O -O -O. So I chose the name Jose Jimenez. I wrote that on the blackboard uh, so that people would be reminded that a J sounds like an eight. And the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was sort of it was like a, a, a B movie, actually, uh, when uh, Pat Harrington interviewed me in the, the first cut, which is on the uh, the Best of Jose uh, tape. Uh. I was going to ask you, which one was your favorite cut? Well, there's no question, Jose the Astronaut, uh, because, uh, you know, when you end up in the Smithsonian, you got to feel pretty proud. If you've been watching the, the right stuff, you see the references to Jose all the way through. Right. Because uh, Al Shepard, uh, his... His code name became Jose because he used to do the Jose shtick all the time. The first word from the ground to Al Shepard going into space back in May of 1961 was, Okay, Jose, you're on your way. And when he landed and they opened the capsule, the first words he said was, My name, Jose Jimenez. 
So uh, that hunk also I did with Milton Berle as my straight man at uh, the inaugural gala for John uh, Kennedy, and uh, it really became a, uh, a historical piece. Uh, that's for sure. Are you still writing comedy, Bill? Oh, very much so, yeah. I'm uh, in it on a day-to-day -day basis, developing uh, uh, a lot of projects. I'm also very heavily into popular music, which is real fun. I've been writing with uh, Bob Rose, who produced a group called Ambrosia, and oh, yeah. uh, Nigel Harrison, who formed uh, Blondie with uh, Deborah Harry. Right. Jeez, why the and interest uh, in rock and roll all of a sudden? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm the oldest uh, living uh, <laughs> Jewish rock and roll there. <laughs> Uh, I'm also working, you remember the Sex Pistols, who were the, the really the, the breakthrough in the, the whole punk era? Yeah, right. They had Sid Vicious and uh, Johnny Rotten, and I, I'm, I'm working with the guy with the funny name, Steve Jones, uh, about it. I've always, I used to write all of the special material on the Steve Allen show, but I sort of just threw it into the pot with everything else, but I, I really love lyrics. and. Great. Bill, uh, pleasure talking with you. My pleasure, Bob. Thanks so much uh, and uh, for for chatting with me. And uh, we'll uh, we'll check in later and see how many millions of albums you sold for. <laughs> okay. Hello, every person. My name is Jose Jimenez. I just want to remind you it's very very important to listen to Bob Barry. Um, Bob. Uh, Bob Barry. Remember. Bob Barry. Thank you for listening to Bob Barry's Unearthed Interviews. Be sure to subscribe and rate our podcast on iTunes or wherever you find your podcasts. You can find all the episodes at wisconsinbroadcastingmuseum.org. Check out Bob Barry's book, Rock and Roll Radio Milwaukee. Book sale proceeds support Angels Kids Fund and Donate Life Wisconsin. The preceding program was made possible by a generous contribution from Terry Bond.